Morning once again, ladies and gentlemen. Back to Yo Steve TV. I'm your host, Stephen B. Today is the 17th. Uh, it's got like four more days before the 30th day uh, of the shutdown, and uh, and there's lots going on. I mean, you know, uh, the dem Democrats. Are, uh, are, man, they're like coming out of the woodwork with anything and everything that could try to make Trump look bad, you know? And uh, come on, come up here. Hello, everybody, hello. And uh, so, uh, Nancy Pelosi, she's still playing hardball, you know? She ain't, she ain't budging an inch, which, you know, I'm think I'm starting to think that you know this you know this is all basically optics you know it's, um, it, the uh, the situations that are coming down are taking a little bit longer than we'd be uh, comfortable with if, if we were in that situation you know I mean uh, business owners and uh, uh, corporate corporate uh, higher up people. <laughs> Um, they wouldn't be putting up with this kind of stuff, I'm sure. And uh, but in the meantime, you know, while the uh, shut-in is being done, there's those there's those people in the uh, political arena that are trying to do trying to sneak in their little bills of this and that, especially the Second Amendment type thing, you know. Um, a lot, uh, of course, you know. Old uh, Feinstein out there in California is trying to uh, push push a bill, a rewritten bill, make it sound a little different, but it's the same thing. You know, it's just trying to just trying to take our weapons, you know, and our and uh, put a squash on our Second Amendment, and uh, you know whatever they can do to destroy the Constitution of the United States is what they're actually trying to do. Um, it's coming to uh, realization that a lot of these newcomers into the Democratic Party are actually um, their true colors are starting to come out. They, when they came into office, they swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States as it is right now. Yet they're talking uh, along the lines of doing away with the old to bring in the new, blah, 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 which in their opinion should be a more socialist, uh, communistic type of, of uh, uh, existence, you know, governmental uh, procedures and stuff, which the Constitution of the United States is totally it was written up and it's totally against any kind of that anything that that type of ideology has to do with <clears throat> hang on I'm still waking up it is the beginning of the morning first cup of coffee uh, uh, so we're not running on all eight yet but we're getting there um yeah so and then and then you know we've got Yes? You guys a little too good? Okay. And then we've got the uh, the uh, Muslim population that's been voted in, who, <clears throat> by all means, you know, they did the same thing, yet when it comes to their religion, the, the, uh, yeah, the, you know, their, their, if, if their loyalties are to their religion, then they are sworn to go against anything and everything that isn't part of the Islamic uh, traditions and laws. Which means that them making a a uh, a oath to protect the Constitution is one of two things. They're either lying about protecting the Constitution, or 
they're going against their own religious religious beliefs and statutes okay so you know it's a fine line right there you know because we do have we do have the uh, the rights to uh, to um, religious freedoms and and whatnot you know have the right to practice whatever uh, religious beliefs we have um, but when it goes against the laws of the land, you know, no matter what what religion it is, okay, um, even even Christianity, you know, um, but there is there is teachings in in the uh, scriptures that you know that we are to uphold and follow the laws of the land and the laws that governments put down because if God didn't want these governments in power, they wouldn't be in power, okay? So, you know, when when you're living here in the United States, being a Christian, you have, you have to remember that, you know, because we are who we are, not only Americans, but also God-fearing people, that we want to do our best to follow the teachings that God put forth in the in the uh, Holy Scriptures. So with that, you know we we uh, we have to um, abide by the laws of the land. Uh, we have to um, accept the ruling. The lawful ruling of our leaders, okay, and uh, and you know, be courteous to, to one another. I mean, you know, be loving to one another. You know, that's the main thing. Is is God wants us to love each other as He loved us. You know, so and with that, you know, I mean, there's a saying that love covers a multitude of sins. Okay. I got to thinking about that one day, and I I, uh, I started thinking about what's that really mean, and how does it affect that it 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 can override sinful actions? Okay, and you know I came to the conclusion that if if we take it down to the basic idea. Of love conquers all. If we take the original Ten Commandments, the things that you know God put down for the Hebrews, that if you can follow these ten, ten rules, ten commandments, you'll you'll be within, you know, my grace. Okay. Um, so if we sit there and we we do it like this, if you love your neighbor. Okay? Alright, first off, if you love God, you're not going to do anything against Him. Okay? You know, that's that's commandment number one. Love thy, love thy God with all, you know, with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. That's the first one. If you love God, as you say you do, everything else around you will be secondary to that. Secondary, third, dairy, however you want to put it, okay? And it, it also covers um, the, the, second, the second one, uh, second commandment. You know, you will have no other gods before me. Which, if you love God in the first place, you're not going to be worshiping on anything else other than Him, okay? You won't be putting anything else for first or foremost before him okay so that's boom one two one and two that's taken care of okay and uh, love thy neighbor as you love uh, love yourself so if you love yourself okay and you wouldn't want to do any harm to yourself or have any harm done to you okay you would want that for the same for your neighbor or someone, you know, total stranger. You wouldn't want anything bad to happen, okay? Um, and then it goes on and on, you know, uh, you won't covet 
you know, you, you, your neighbor's house or goods or wife or this and that. And it's like, and it falls down again. If you loved your neighbor enough to not wish him any harm or, or wish that no harm came upon him, you wouldn't be <clears throat> in the mindset of wanting his goods, okay? So yes, the the, the phrase the phrase of uh, love love covers a multitude of sins is actually a pretty good accurate uh, statement because if you are loving on people and you're loving on God and this and that you won't do anything against the grain that will do them any harm or or go against them, you know? And. Uh, there's a Trump train. Woo -woo. <laughs> I hear that train coming. It's coming down the bend. <laughs> and I be hoping sunshine will come around again. Okay, anyway. <laughs> All right, and my, my puppy saying hello. So that's that's where you know we get you know conflict of interest and stuff you know with with uh, other faiths that <clears throat> are <clears throat> are based on conquering and 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 uh, you know putting 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 the the thumbs. You know, putting the thumb screws down, down on uh, other people. Well, stop it! That's mine. She just woke up to you. All right, come on. Here. Take you, take you little ball. Get over here. Come on. Settle down. Anyway, so that's that. Okay. Um, these people. Uh, getting back to the original uh, meat of the subject. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of wishy-washy people that, you know, when you get right down to it, why does anybody want to become a politician, okay? Uh, if you look at the most recent past uh, it, and some of the uh, lifelong, you know, career, career politicians that we have, uh, it's plain as day, you know. They're they're getting rich off the system that that they're they're working for, okay. And uh, they don't they don't um, they don't really believe in the Constitution, okay. They're making they make laws and and statutes that chip away. And our most fundamental rights of the Constitution, okay, in hopes that they could do away with it eventually. I mean, they're talking; they're already talking that it's 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 an outdated, uh, it's an outdated uh, concept, and was was stop. You're biting and it hurts. Uh, it's an outdated concept that has to be either replaced or rectified. Because because the situations in the last couple hundred years have changed. All right. Well, the the <clears throat> the, uh, the concepts haven't changed. Okay. Now, when we're looking at government as it is now, how it it's it's totally and utterly inf infested or infested <laughs> infested with. You know, bad players, man. People, people that don't have uh, the populations or the, the um, yeah, the population's good um, in um, well-being to heart. Okay, they're in there for themselves. Okay, not for you and I. You know, they have proven that time and time and time again. Even the simple fact that in the past when they have made us promises on things that are that are going on right now that that they're fighting against You know, they made promises back then and put money towards things that never got done Okay, 
they're more they're more inclined to helping helping the the um, the uh, citizens of other countries with our hard-earned money, you know, with our taxpayers' money, than they are to putting a little, putting a little bit of that money into something tangible that will show that they care about us, like like Trump's Trump's uh, border border fence or border uh, barrier, okay? Um, they they'd rather they'd rather spend <clears throat> billions and billions and billions, you know, tens and hundreds of billions of dollars in other in other countries for their social uh, 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 whatever, you know, instead of uh, putting just a portion of that into something that would secure our security and our at least our peace of mind, you know, just knowing that there's something down along the border that would, uh, that would, uh, deter or, or limit the goings on that's happening down there right now is, you know, that, that's, would be, you know, hey, right on, you know, at least we got that, you know, but no, they don't care. They, they don't care and you can tell they don't care about us by what by their actions that they're doing now okay it's it's that simple you know and the thing about it is is we have been allowing this to happen you know not not raising a fuss after after the fact when they lie to us we don't pull them up on it and uh Trump and his team, you know, Trump and, and the the Q Q people, or um, they're trying to they're trying to eradicate all that, you know, and uh, and they're having to do it in in a way that you know they can't just go in there and and do a uh, a Saddam Hussein thing, you know, get them all in one room and start plucking them out, you know. I mean, that's that's. That's a, and the thing is, is that the reason why we can't, they can't do it like that, is because we do have the Constitution, and these people hide behind it. Okay, so they hide, they use the very thing that they're trying to destroy to protect their own butts. Okay, so you know, when you, I mean. Even most of the gangsters back in the fifties and sixties that came up against, came up in con, you know, congressional uh, uh, investigations and stuff, you know, they used the Fifth Amendment, man, so they didn't have to answer shit, you know. I mean, you know, so it's there for a reason, people. Okay, and just because. Somebody says that oh it's old fashioned and it doesn't it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't coincide with the way life is today and blah 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 no 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 the Constitution was made and penned in a way okay and worded in a way that was meant to last forever. Okay, forever. Okay, no matter what what kind of times we live, we could be we could be living on the moon. You know, we could be shuffling back and forth from from one from one uh, uh, star system to another, and the Constitution will still mean the same as when it was first uh, penned. Okay, it's there to protect. The little guy, you know, the 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 the, the little person, the person that doesn't, you know, it's it's there for you and I, okay. And we can't let these fat cats and uh, po you know, career politicians try to tell us or try to convince us that. They know what's best for us, okay? <laughs> that's 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 just straight stupidity.
you know, put my put my trust and and my will in the hands of somebody that I know is a no good crook. Okay, it's, it ain't happening with me. Okay, that's why I've never voted in my life. You know, I learned a long time ago since Nixon that these politicians, man, that that go into this career choice <clears throat> are going into it for nefarious reasons. They're, they're not there to actually try to help the, the the citizens of the US. And if you really if you really come down to to brass tax and if if you're like me, you think about it, okay? Research it a little bit or just go to your memory. Okay, those of you that's, you know, in my age bracket, 50 to 60, you know, just go in your own mind and, and pull up them old tapes of, of uh, politicians who promised us the moon, okay, and then wanted us to go put our heads in the dirt, you know, <laughs> you know, and just, yeah, okay, I, you know, and then when it came around to the next, to the next, uh, uh, voting season for them, uh, they they sit there and you know can come up with all kinds of excuses of why they couldn't get it done what they said they would do and blah blah blah. Well now <clears throat> now we've got a man, the head honcho of the U.S. Okay, who. Came in making promises, making making uh, uh, guarantees, okay, that he would get this, 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 and this done, okay? <clears throat> and just in two years, he's gotten this, 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 and this done, okay? Well, now he's working on the one promise that, that made made his campaign, you know, uh, uh, solidified, solidified his candidacy to become the, the commander-in-chief. And that was some type of barrier or wall or fence or some kind of protection on our southern border, okay? And they know it. Okay, the, the powers that be, they know it, okay, and they're working all they can against that one factor, okay, and trying to deny him <clears throat> that one promise that he made to us so that they have some type of ammunition come 2020. And that's all it boils down to, is they're just trying to uh, work on trying to... Uh, muddy the water for his next election come 2020 for his next campaign I mean he's already he's already made he kept the promises okay North Korea ain't, ain't blowing shit up no more ain't popping uh, missiles over over Japan now whatever kind of deal he did with them you know and Kim Jong-un is, is being pretty civil about things from what I can see, okay? We still have them uh, war drums uh, pounding off with, with uh, China and stuff. But then you got to remember, um, we, were, we were being sold out to China, okay? We were being actually sold out, lock, stock, and barrel to another government, okay? And... Uh, and he got us out of that carbon tax bull crap, you know, and and uh, the peace accord got us out of that. Made us a new agreement with, uh, got rid of NAFTA, and he's got the USMC, whatever, uh, uh, USMCA, um, TA or whatever, I don't know, something like that. Uh, he made, he got rid of the old deals. Came in with some new ones, more, more progress, not progressive, but profitable for the country, for for you and I. Okay, um, so you know, here's here's a guy that 
says says what he's going to do and does what he said he was going to do. Okay, compared to the people in the past that just gave us lip service, that just told us what we wanted to hear, and oh, it sounds so good, and boom. And once they get in power, then they then they get into doing their own thing, you know, for their own reasons and stuff, and. Uh, and if we if we remember, okay, if we really truly believe in the the 16 year downfall of the U.S. that's that's on snippets, okay. Uh, right now, we should be deep off into some kind of global conflict with either Russia or Korea under Hillary Clinton, okay. Uh, We'd be sending our young men off to war, young men and women, okay? And they'd be taking away the guns for sure. They'd be changing up. And then eventually, eventually, the reason, another reason why they want the southern border open the way they do is because eventually we were going to be invaded and taken over by a foreign government that the globalists and, and uh, career politicians had sold us out to. It, 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 you know, if you don't see that as being a, the, the true um, condition of things that, that was happening in 2016, then I don't know. You just, you're just so blinded by, you know, and you don't want to get past your own nose, you know. I, I hate to say that, but you know, there's a lot of us out there. You know, there's a lot of people out there that that don't want to know the truth. Okay, they just don't. You know, they they want to they want to believe that. You know, oh, you know, uh, you know, they whatever they want to believe. I don't know. There's all kinds of crap out there anymore, you know? It's hard to keep up with it, man. Anyway. But that's where we're, that's where we're at. You know, we've got, we've got, you know, and, and, and the simple fact that, you know, the news, the news channels that we have all been so used to getting our information from, and 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 making it to where it's like gospel, you know, what they tell us is true. They wouldn't lie to us, and you know, and now to find out that they've been lying through their teeth, man, ever since they got on camera, you know, or, you know. Uh, it's it, it's terrible, you know. But we do have hope. We're in, we're in, in, we're in a transition in, in this time that hope is just in sight, you know. Law, you know, you know, God, God's, God's got his hand in on things, you know, and and he's he's not he, he ain't been liking this, seeing what's going on, you know, with. Uh, with his people at all, you know, and uh, so, you know, so we have we have to we have to be vigilant, patient. We have to be. Uh, we can't be wishy washy in our own mind either. Okay, uh, we have to see that we have to draw the line in the sand. Okay, and we have to pick a side. Ah, oh, stop. Man, them sharp little teeth. Man, they hurt. No, here, play with your thing. Man, anyhow. Uh, so, how about how about we go to prayer? Okay, more prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, in the name of our Savior and your Son. Jesus Christ, Yeshua, who you sent to this to this planet at a time when you said you would, in order to open up that bridge, Father God, and, and create that 
reconciliation that you wanted so much for us to have with you, Father. Lord, we just thank you for being part of our lives and, and calling out to us the way you have, Father, so that we can, we can know that it's truly your voice that we hear, Father. Lord, we just want to thank you with all our hearts, all our prayers, Father God. And just ask that you remain with us, Lord. Just keep, keep, keep us, keep us strong, and and keep us alert to the things that would do us harm. Okay, so that we can avoid them and 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 put them aside, <clears throat> Lord. Heavenly Father, we just want to pray for you know those people out there who are who are looking for you, but just don't know. It's just you know, there's so much mud and water out there you know that you know so many so many different kinds of faiths out there that are that are drawing your people you know into confusion and lord we just we just come against all that and uh we just ask that you show them the the uh, true path on where they need to go in order to find you father Lord, we just ask that you protect those people out there. Protect all your children, Father God. Those, those ones, too, that are blinded by things in this world that, that uh, are not of you. Okay? Every Father, we just want to thank you for being part of our lives and, and loving us the way you have. You know, and we know that you do love us because if you didn't, you never would have sent our Lord Jesus Christ to save us from our own, from our own, uh, from our own self-inflicted sinful natures and ways <clears throat> and acts and all those things. Lord, we just want to ask that you protect our president, President Trump, protect all of those people who are who are fighting the good fight in your cause, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we just ask that you bring to light all those evil entities and, and all those powers that be that have had our all the just Lord, all the all the evilness and Lord, we just come against all that, okay? Uh, if it isn't of you, Father, we just, we, we, it, ouch, I'm praying here. Right. Let's pray, okay? So, Lord, Lord, we just ask, Father God, that you remain with us. Protect us. And show your show your loving kindness to us, Father God, in ways that would make us realize that you are there. Okay. Lord, we just pray these in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And with that, amen, amen, and amen. Uh, it's kind of hard to pray out to our Creator when one of his creations. <clears throat> As being such a little <laughs> but gotta love Ray, you know. She's just a baby. Oh, just a baby. Yeah you are. Anyhow, listen folks, I mean um what can I say? I mean I come here, I rant and rave and um I guess my main message is, you know, look Put your faith, put your faith in our Creator. You know, I mean, He's the only one that's going to uh, save us from the downfall that's coming down the road. You know, I mean, if nothing else, if you are, if you are any kind of a spiritual thinking person, you know that a spiritual existence does does exist, okay? Whether good or bad, holy or unholy, okay? Uh, it's there, 
okay and you know my uh, my faith in Jesus Christ is is giving me the opportunity to guarantee my existence and my my uh, next life in the presence of my Creator okay and uh, that's that's the main thing that's what this journey is all about I guess the, the talking about the politics and stuff like that is just my way of, uh, of trying to show people you know the, the things that um, can destroy a person's uh, spiritual being you know if if we take our if we take our minds off our creator and put them into the things of the world no matter what they are then we're separate we are separating ourselves from the goodness and the uh, power that he wants to give us okay and, and wants to bestow upon us and all the blessings and the, and the joy and the love and the you know, and all that comes with his presence in our life, okay? You know, um, and you know, if if we allow if we allow the things of the world to keep us keep us, you know, twenty four seven unfocused from him, then we're doing ourselves a dis a dis. Uh, an in, injustice, okay. Um, so with that, you know, listen. Um, God wants us to love on one another, okay. So if if you're feeling blue, or if the world's getting too heavier, or or you know, if if the weight of the world is coming down upon you, then go out and do kindness to somebody, okay. Just. You know, do a, do an act of charity. You know, go go get somebody something to eat, or or you know, like I said the other day, if, if it's cold out, maybe go get somebody something to wear so they can keep a little bit warmer and stuff. You know, but love on one another. You know, and that's that's the whole point. You know, you know that's that's what Jesus told us told us uh, his crew to do before he left. He said, do. You know, love on each other as I have loved on you. You know, love each other as I have loved you. You know, that's that's a real simple. Uh, that's that's a real simple uh, request. You know, and uh, and it makes a difference. You know, I mean, you see somebody that's kind of like you know feeling blue stuff. Just tell them, hey, hey, listen, God loves you. Or God bless you. Or you know, I love you. Hey, you know, and that that just that little interaction uh, creates a little spark of hope and joy in somebody's heart and soul. You know, because they're there, they know that somebody is out there that cares. Okay, so. Let's be kind to one another, okay? And then also too is let's let's be outspoken about the things that are are lies and and uh, are going against the the uh, <clears throat> are just are not right, okay? Let's let's not be let's not be um, uh, passive any longer, okay? God says for us to be meek as lambs, but bold as lions. <clears throat> okay? What that means is, you know, we need, we need to be humble about all things and everything, but yet we're not to be quiet when it comes to injustices being done around the world. Okay? And that's where the bold as lion comes in. You need to be void. You need to let it be known the things that ain't right. Okay? And uh, so, with that, all I got to say is, hey, listen, God bless you, okay? God loves you. God bless our president, President Trump. 
God bless the men and women in the military, law enforcement, and all those who are working to the betterment And peace. And I'm out of here. Okay? Still trying to wake up here. And she's acting up. So with that, I'm going to let y'all go. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you again real soon.